This is a tutorial for how to use Microsoft Sway. Sway is an online presentation tool that is part of your Office 365 account. You can access Sway in two different ways. The simplest way is just to go in your address bar and type in sway.com, but you can also access it from your Office portal. For this tutorial, I'm going to have you go through your Office portal just so that you get familiar with using it. In your address bar, you'll type in portal.office dot com push enter and it'll bring you to the office 365 web page if you forget that um, web address you can just go to google and type in office 365 in the search box and the first link that pulls up um, you just will click it and it'll bring you to office 365 like that you're going to sign in with your work or school account we're going to use our work account so you'll just pull, put in your full email address and then your password well, first it'll do this little redirecting thing. It'll bring you to, it'll see Montgomery Independent School District, and then you will put in your same password, like if you are logging into your computer at school. Not now, no, I don't want it to remember that password. Okay, so this is your Office portal. Notice how you can install any of the Office products on your computer at home or school. And then down here, it has all of the Office Online products. Sway is what we're going to be using today. It's a program that is only available online. It's not one that would be downloaded onto your computer. You can get to it from any device. We're going to click on Sway. And it's going to open Sway up for us. So for this tutorial, we're going to create a new Sway. And I'm just going to walk you through the very basics. So when you first open it, you'll see a screen that looks like this and it has your storyline and it prompts you for each part um, of your project. So we want you to start with the title and let's just make a project on solar systems. Science is always fun. Okay, and then right here it says, well, what kind of background do you want? If I click it, Notice how the program already took my title and made a search for solar systems. So it's going to look up some pictures for me. And here's what I like about Sway is that I didn't have to go out to any other program like Google and do a separate image search. It does it all within the Sway program. All right, so let's just choose this first one. And you click it and you can either click add up here at the top or you can just drag it straight over it puts it right next to it and let's keep searching go down a little bit more and let's just add another picture how about that one okay so now notice how i kind of have two sections i have up here this first little rectangle and then it added this next one let's go ahead and put a little caption the Sun. Okay, so now I give you a feel for what the program looks like because this is still kind of in edit mode. I'm going to click back up here on the first part and over here you can click preview or you can just click play and it's going to show you what my sway will look like. So there's the title page. Notice how it kind of has in some little built-in animation that looks really cool. And you click the arrow right here and we'll go to the next part. And there's our next picture, our caption, the sun. So this is the preview of it. So now we're going to go back and edit so we can add some more stuff. This little pencil up here, which is just the universal symbol for if you want to edit something, click it. So let's go and add a video for the next part of our tutorial. So if I click on the slide that we left off at, and there's that little plus sign, it says insert content. I'm going to click there. And it says heading text, this is for pictures. I can upload something or over here on the end, it gives me some more options. We're gonna add a video. And it already has some search options over here for me. The ones that are a video will have this little symbol on it. This one says planet song for kids. Let's just add that one. So click it, push add, puts it there. Now let's go back and preview and see how it looks with my song in there. Preview. 
Okay, so now it has, there was the title page, the sun, and now look, here's the video that automatically embedded in there. I didn't have to do anything fancy. Push play, and right within my project, it lets me watch the video. Pretty cool, huh? There are eight planets. All right, so now let's get back over here to our storyline. Storyline is basically where you're making your project at. And I want to show you the last couple things for our tutorial today. Remember, this is just the basics. Um, the design. Up here at the top, you'll see a button called Design. With just a click of a button, I can click on these and it change up, changes up the entire look of my project with just a simple click, not having to do much thinking about how you want it to look. Um, probably my favorite part of Sway though up here is this remix button. Click that and it'll just change it for you. You can keep clicking until you find one that you're satisfied with. Um, this navigation is also pretty cool. Right here you'll see that right now um, this one scrolls vertically. So far we've been doing it, we've been going side to side with our slides, but if you click this one It'll let us scroll upwards instead of from side to side. It's just a neat little, neat little option that it has. Well, that's it for the basics of Sway. Stay tuned for upcoming advanced tutorials on Sway.